What's up guys? Good evening. Uh I managed to actually um got a booking on this uh, new BYD E6 electric vehicle by GetGo. Thanks to GetGo for um, putting this car at Jurong West. It's quite nearby to where I live. Okay, so first things first. This cabin looks very, very much um, premium. Right? So just have a look around. I can't actually zoom out when recording. So, let me see. I can zoom in. Yeah, but I can't zoom out. Alright, so we have the uh, ref meter on the left. Okay, actually it's in kilowatt. Yeah, since this is an electric car. Okay. So you have a mini display over here which shows the driving mode. How do I change the driving mode? I actually need to actually look around there. Now these cars are getting much sophisticated. So right now it's in eco mode. Most probably I have to set it somewhere else. Okay, so this is the battery charge as of now. 58%. Okay. The consumption from the previous user. 16 kilowatt hour per 100 km. That's the normal speedometer. So back to the center console. Right, this is the gear selector. Press once to put it into park, and automatically your parking brake will be on. Right, press the brake pedal, shift it to the right to put in D. Automatically, parking brake will be released. This is for neutral, and this is for reverse. So, when you set it to reverse, you'll have a Reverse camera up there. Okay, apart from that, um, let me see what is this high low. What does it do? Okay, when you press this, the word standard and larger will be reflected on the screen. I am not sure what this does have to actually go through maybe a user manual right eco mode by default this is well hazard auto auto what not too sure maybe oh auto aircon yeah okay okay because the fan started spinning allow the this to off the fan this is the heat and uh, what's this? I'm not sure what's this. Yeah, maybe one of the driving mode. Okay, so. Where to adjust the fan? As you can see, I have two mid in the middle, uh, two aircon vents here. This to adjust it up and down. But there's no way for it to change the fan settings. So you adjust the fan by on the 10.1 inch uh, rotating display. You can rotate it manually. But uh, I don't think there's a button for you to actually rotate it on its own. So it's not motorized. Press on the... Uh, 
aircon setting here and this is where I can actually set the fan speed I can set the temperature right whether I want the fan to off or on and the cycle can I change this no I can't okay all right then uh, yeah okay so this is the fan speed as well so I can just drag it here like that okay volume for navigation and media there's actually so much to go through wow okay back all right so this is actually the main page um where do i start i do not where do know do not know where to start so many bluetooth music radio oh it's very smooth actually yeah media center utility you have file manager, you have downloads, you have a web browser. Is it online? No, it's not online. So from the looks, it actually looks like an Android browser. But probably customized to fit BYD's uh, car systems. Excellent car status. Servicing. And what we have? Energy. Oh, okay. This is energy. Status. Mileage. Info. Oh, okay. Yep, this is probably uh, where, but I'm not sure whether it has a built-in uh, memory storage for this. Otherwise, there should be somewhere we can plug in a USB, you know, might we have somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So, this is actually just a very short uh, review. We have the user manual in there. Right. Okay, that's all. Let's go for a short test drive. I won't be recording this test drive um, in the near future, hopefully, because, um, like I said, I chanced upon this booking, so I wasn't really prepared to do a full uh, video review. So I'm just recording my phone. Uh, perhaps in the near future, I'll bring my GoPro along so I can record a first person view of how it's like to drive. Alright, so catch you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm just after a very short drive <coughs> from Jurong West to Bukit Batok Central. Uh, I've parked for a while and have a look at the car interior. It's actually very nice looking. Um, Pleasant, this is a very pleasant looking station wagon. Uh, quite a reasonable amount of boot space. And also a leg room at the back. If I were to on my flashlight here. I'm not sure why there's a lens flare. Uh, yeah, probably maybe due to my casing or something. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Them means I need to have a new phone. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's turn this display back on again by touching. And uh, there is a settings button over here. When press, actually, um, there are several settings that we can see here. This is the AC. Okay, 
Um, what do we have here? Win and lead. Press and hold switch to lift windows to lower windows. Lift windows. What does it mean? Press and hold. this anyway the default selection is off and this is on can I okay so what oh I see okay so it's just to press once to actually so it automatically goes down um, lock okay auto lock during driving this is for safety it's good Remote lock, okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Drive. Brake foot sense setting. On road assistance. Steering mode, sport, comfort. Let's leave it at comfort. Energy recycle mode. Oh, okay. That was what this button's for. Let me turn on. Okay, that's what this button is for. So it's for the energy recycle mode standard or larger. Okay, okay. Okay, what do we have next? Voice assistant. Okay. Light. Headlight, backlight. Screen saver, okay. Sound, oh, your equalizer, okay. What's on the system? We have link to wireless LAN, Bluetooth, okay. You can set a time, the unit measurement, language. So we have storage. Oh, okay. So he has internal storage of 16 gigabytes. Okay, uh-huh Alright, so I was actually looking where to change the eco mode to maybe a sport mode here But apparently till now I've not able to identify which button Or perhaps in actual fact you can't actually change the eco mode to something else yeah, it's definitely not on this tablet because it should be under drive. Safety assist default. Oops, nope. Okay. Standard comfort. Okay. On road. Yeah. You can only change the steering mode, but you can actually change the drive mode so well it is what it is right so i would recommend uh you guys looking for an ev uh do check out this car by byd by the way this is not sponsored by byd or get go for that matter because um there are lots of altern alternatives to electric vehicles apart from tesla you know um because this is like a normal normal car you know whereby there's a handle for your glove box okay there are still manual buttons uh to control apart from always touching the screen you know so it's just like a re regular car all right so apparently I thought this pad was actually can can support wireless charging but it does not wireless charge my phone. Uh, so yeah. Well, till the next uh, review guys. Peace out. Have a good night. Bye-bye.